If you are president and if you are camping, then your tent would become a temporary White House. Your tent doesn't really matter, but who you are matters the most. Now, in today's passage, uh, Apostle Paul was saying, "Our body is like a tent." And we want to. I want to get away from this tent. Does that mean he wants to kill himself? No, not at all. But because he wants to be with the Lord that he loves, so even death would be a good thing for him. So what really matters the most? What made him th- say that way? It is because of who we are in Christ Jesus. So today I want us to look at who we are. The two major identities what the Bible addresses, especially in the today's passage, Second Corinthians. Chapter five, verses seventeen through twenty, and then because of that, whatever tent you have, whatever physical situations that you might have, they don't really matter because what who you are matters the most in Christ Jesus. So let's look at Second Corinthians chapter five, verses seventeen through twenty. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. Now all these things have are from God, and reconciled us to Himself through Christ, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, namely that God was in Christ reconciling the world to Himself, not counting their trespasses against them, and He has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God were making an appeal through us. We beg you, on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. Now, there are two major identities I want to point out. The first one is new creation. We are new creation in Christ Jesus. The second one is the ambassador that、uh, who represent Christ Jesus. So let's go back to the verse seventeen. It says, "We are new creation. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ." He is a new creature. It says, "If anyone is in Christ, in Christ." In other words, if you are outside of Christ, you are not a new creation. Now, what does it mean to be in Christ?、Uh, John chapter five and John chapter eight, fifteen.、Uh, throughout the book of John, Jesus continually says, "We need to abide in Christ Jesus." That that is what it means to be in Christ Jesus. But how can we abide in Christ Jesus by obeying His command? What is His command? It is to love God and love our neighbors. But to be really obeying the Christ、uh, commandment, we first we need to believe in Him. In other words, we need to be. A born again Christian. The born again Christian, as in John chapter three, are the born of the Spirit. It's not according to human will, but it is according to the power of God. So, as as we learned from last week in Second Corinthians chapter four, also talks about inner person. Now, outer person is decaying, but the inner person is being renewed every day. How in the world that you have the inner person being renewed every day? It is because Titus three four three five that we by the renew. Of the Holy Spirit, we are regenerated. And Ephesians chapter four, verses twenty-two through twenty-five, twenty-four also says that we, that our new old self has been crucified, has、uh, has been gone, and now we have new self. New person uh, is uh, studying, and that is really the new creation that today's passage is really talking about. So, Second Corinthians five verses seventeen、uh, through twenty, especially verse seventeen, emphasizes on the regeneration, being born again. Now, how can you be born again? Again, it is through being in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, then you are new creation. In other words, you are born again. You are a new person that God has adopted. You as his child, just in just as in Ephesians chapter Ephesians chapter one. So you have a new identity, which is the new creation. Now, what does the new creation look like today? Let's go back to today's verse. It says, "He's a new creature. The old things have passed away. Old things are gone." It doesn't say the old things are just there, and you have a new things as an addition. So you have both new and old. That's not what it means here. Old things have passed away. Behold, the new. Things have come, so you are totally renovated. You are totally new creature. That you have Christ Jesus, and Christ Jesus in, is in you, and you are 
in him. Now, it goes on to say in verse 18, all these things are from God. So, God is the source of your gener- regeneration. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6 says, everything is from God, everything is for God, everything is through God. So, it shows that God is the source of life, but not just for the physical life, physical creation, but also spiritual creation that we just saw that. It's the regeneration, that we become a new creation in Christ Jesus, and it is not by our own power because none of us can make us new, but only God makes us new as a new creation. So we are subject to Him, and He is our God. He is the Creator, and it is coming from the Lord. Not everyone is a new creation because, again, if you are outside of Christ Jesus, that means you are not new new creation. You still have old self. The old sinful self, sinful nature is still there, and then you are not renewed, and you are still on the way to the eternal damnation. So that is the the sad, sad, the reality and the status. But there are so that's where a lot of people are heading towards. So we need to know that we must be born again. We must become a new creation by being in Christ Jesus. So that's the first identity that you are new creation. The second identity it continues. Uh, let's go back to to this passage again. In ver- look at verse 20. Therefore, now, by the way, in this chapter, chapter 5, there are six therefore. It really talks about, it is explaining about the important truth. Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. So this is the second um, the identity, that we are ambassadors for Christ. It means that we represent Christ Jesus. And it says, as though God making appeal through us. God is using us to communicate His message. Just like the, uh, if you are ambassador for your country, and uh, your country, your government is trying to uh, communicate with other countries through you, you are representing the country. Likewise, we are ambassadors for Christ, that we are communicating Christ to the world. And it says, we beg you p- uh, p- on behalf of Christ. It's as if God, Christ is speaking to you. We are speaking to you. That be reconciled to God. Amen. So we are, in Christ Jesus, we are ambassadors for Christ. Now, this is amazing, amazing identities. Because, first of all, you are new creation in Christ Jesus. Second, you are ambassadors for Christ Jesus. Now, new creation, that is your your, your spiritual reality, that you are born in you. you. You are child of God. But that is not the end of it. But Because God is calling you to represent Him to proclaim the gospel of Christ Jesus, to communicate with the world about Christ Jesus. So he is giving you the job as an ambassador for Christ. Christ. So what matters here is who we are in Christ Jesus. But that identity leads us to the role and calling uh, from the Lord that our calling is to become representative of Christ Jesus, that we proclaim Christ Jesus to all around the world. It is the same concept that we see in Acts chapter 1, 8. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, that you will receive power and you will be what? You will be witnesses of Christ Jesus, starting from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to all around the world. But receiving the power of Christ Jesus receiving the power of the Holy Spirit that happens to the born-again Christians. You know, it's Acts chapter 2, verse 38, repent and be baptized, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, which means that you become a new person, you become a new creation, you are born again, just like in the Titus 3, 5, and when you receive the power of the Holy Spirit, then you will become His ambassadors, ambassadors another word for witness. The witnesses are the ones, were the ones who see Christ Jesus and they they proclaim the Christ, proclaim Christ Jesus to all around the world. Same thing, the ambassadors. So, new creation ambassador, be receiving the Holy Spirit and witnessing the Holy, witnessing Christ Jesus. They all go together, which, which means that if you are a Christian, if you are a born again Christian, you must. There is, this is not an option. You must be the ambassador. As an ambassador, you must share the gospel of Christ Jesus. But how does this all happen? 
you know, if it, it, this passage is has this sandwich, the structure, uh, the it starts with the verse 17. Verse 15 through 16 talks about Jesus' death and resurrection. Jesus' death and resurrection. And also, the, the verse after, the final verse of this chapter is verse 21, which is the verse after, uh, verse 20. It talks about that Jesus is, Jesus does not know sin. He is perfect. He is holy God. But he, even though he do, did not even know what sin was, but he became sin so that uh, he died for our sin. What does that really mean? It means the gospel. Verses 15 through 16 and verse 21 talk about who Christ is and what Christ has done, that Jesus died for our sins. So that in verse 15 and 16, we should not live for ourselves, but we need to live for the will of God. Now, in between verses 15, 16 and verse 21, today's, today's passage came. What does that mean? The gospel is the bookend. The gospel is the foundation of who we are. Because of the gospel, because Christ Jesus died for us and he was, he was risen from the dead, because of that, we are the new creation and we are the ambassadors for Christ. And because of this gospel, God is calling us to proclaim the gospel of Christ Jesus as his ambassador. You and I. We are ambassadors for Christ Jesus. We are the new creation. And the gospel is the foundation. So we must hold on to this gospel. And because this gospel determines who we are, it gives us the identity. It's not your job. It's not your surrounding. It's not your, uh, the background. It's not, any, it's not any of those things determining, determining your identity. The true identity that comes from the Lord is because of who Jesus is and what he has done. So how should we live as the new creation? We should not go back to our old self and we need to live as the new creation. Now, I mentioned the tent. If you are a president, Wherever you are, whether it's a tent in the mountain for two weeks, your tent would become the temporary White House. It can be a small tent, it can be a big tent, doesn't matter. It is your temporary White House. Because you are a new creation in Christ Jesus, your tent doesn't really matter. Whether it's a big or small, whether it's a rich or poor, you don't have to compare to the other tent, other people's tent. But the problem is, a lot of people compare uh, to each other about their tent. Wow, look at that. That person is so beautiful, so handsome. And they, that, look at that house. That house is so big and their cars are much better than my cars. And so they always compare with those tent without even knowing who they really are it is the wasting time even if you go to even if you go to a camping let's say you you are staying in a five person's tent and you see that right next to you you see the 15 person's tent you might feel like wow that tent is much better than my tent but the thing is they're all tent you're not going to be living there forever you'll be just there for about three days or five days that, that's about it as long as you can sleep there that's good you don't have to look at other purpose person's tent right you will belonging to go back to your real house it's just like that tent is tent it's temporary place our body is a temporary place and we will die anyway but the, what matters the most is this who you are in Christ Jesus even if you have a really nice tent if you're not a, if you're not a, a president or if you're just a normal person you're a normal person but if you are if you are the president then the people will look at look at who you are not the tent that you are staying just like that, we must be mindful who, of who we are in Christ Jesus. You are much more than president. You are the, the children of mighty God, the holy God, that you have the image of God, that you in Christ Jesus, you are his new creation, that he formed you, he shaped you to, be, to become more like him. So do not focus on the outside, outer man or tent that you are living in, but in, focus on Christ Jesus who formed you and who shaped you as a new creation. Yes, secondly, we need to live as the ambassadors of Christ Jesus. What does that mean? It means that we need to live a life of the proclaimer. 
that we are to proclaim the gospel of Christ Jesus, to represent who Christ Jesus is, and also we need to live up to what we are talking about, that as we are sharing the gospel, we need to live out the gospel of Christ Jesus in our lives. So that's what it means to become, the, to live as the ambassadors of Christ Jesus. Ambassadors, they have a mission 24-7, wherever they live, they need to represent the country, they need to represent uh, who, who, who they are from. So we need to represent who Christ, who Christ is and what He has done uh, 24-7. Share the gospel. Share the testimony how God has changed you, how God has saved you. And there's some people who know you, you might, they might think like, oh, you've, you've gone through so many difficulties, but how did you come, uh, come out of it? And then they will be very amazed to hear that God has saved you and God has helped you. God has protected you uh, all, all the way through. So that you, as you share, as you share about this gospel of Christ Jesus, you are living as the ambassadors of Christ Jesus. So always be ready to share the gospel and do it uh, and live it as you share the gospel of Christ Jesus. So let's pray that we can truly know who we are in Christ Jesus. We are the new creation and we are the ambassadors of Christ Jesus and let's live as new creation and ambassadors of Christ Jesus. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you for this wonderful message. Lord Jesus, Father, sometimes we forget about who you are and just we just focus on the tent, outside the tent that we're living in. Lord Jesus, please forgive us and let us be focused on who you are and let us uh, live as the creation, new creation, and ambassador for your kingdom. We thank you, praise you. In Jesus' holy name I prayed. Amen.